In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom domain name to ProtonMail. So I'm on ProtonMail's homepage here, and what you will need to do is go ahead and create an account or sign in to your already existing account if you haven't already. Now, once you're on your account here, you want to go to the top right hand corner and click on settings and then go to settings. Now, if you follow everything along here, which I do, then this will work for you and you should have it all up and running within around five minutes. So once you're in settings, you'll then see your plan. Now to add a custom domain name, it is important to note that you have to be on an upgraded plan. I'm just on the Mail Plus plan. The Mail Plus plan is the cheapest one, I do believe. But anyway, once you're on an upgraded plan, you want to go down here to the left, scroll down and you'll see domain names. So click on that and we can now see we can connect our domain name to Proton to set up custom email addresses. So now we'll go ahead and click add domain. Now we need to enter in our domain name. Now you can register this domain name anywhere. I've registered mine with Google domains. So if I go to my domains, I'm going to use this domain here, tutorialguideonyoutube.com. So we'll copy this domain and I'll just go ahead and paste it in here, tutorialguideonyoutube.com. Now we can go ahead and click next and I'll enter in my ProtonMail password. And there we go. So now we need to verify this. So for security reasons, we need to verify that we own that domain. So we need to add a text record to this domain. So this is very easy. So you wanna to go to Google domains or, or your domain, then click on manage and go into the back end of your domains. Now, depending on what domain registration company you used, it might be a little bit different, but for me in Google domains, I go to DNS. I can then go ahead and click on default name servers. And what we can do is we can add some custom records. So here where it says host name, you can see we need to write at. So I'll copy this at symbol. We don't need, really need to copy it. We can just type it at. Then for type, we want to change this to a TXT because look here, you can see type TXT. So we really are just copying what it says here on ProtonMail. Then value, you want to go ahead and click this button and it's going to copy this whole value. Now where it says data, you want to paste in this value and leave this TTL on default. Now click save. And this at isn't actually needed because it just says leave it empty if you mean tutorial guide on youtube.com, which in Google domains, the at isn't needed. So we'll just click save. Okay, so now we've got this custom records all set up. And now what's gonna happen is ProtonMail are gonna essentially ping your domain to see if this TXT um, record is here. And if it is, they're going to say, great, you, you own the domain, we will approve it. So you can see here, it can take up to a day for the DNS changes to update, but we'll click next. And you can see here, Verif verification did not succeed. Please try again in an hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour and the records that we entered have now been verified. So now if we go to review, you can see here is our domain. If we go next, this is where we left off. Now, if we go next again, you can see that that has a tick next to verify. That's all been verified. Now we need to add some MX records. So we need to add two records here. We'll do each one individually. So we're adding an MX record. The host name needs to be at like before. And then here is the value slash data. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. And we also have a priority of 10 and I'll show you what you need to do here on Google domains. So we're going to go back to this page where we can add um, our custom records, go to manage custom records, create new record, and we're gonna be creating an MX record because you can see this is an MX record. Host name is at, so we'll just leave that blank. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and paste in our value, which is gonna be this here. Okay, so we'll paste in our value here. Now you'll notice here it says priority 10. All we need to do on Google domains is type 10 and then space, but you might have a box on your domain registration company, which allows you to check um, the priority. So we're gonna go ahead and click save here, and this is gonna be the first MX record. Okay, so now we'll go to manage custom records, create new record, and we'll do the exact same thing again. So we'll go MX, then we'll go ahead and copy. So you can see MX, this is for the second one. Host name is at, the value here, we need to copy this, and the priority is 20. So we will paste in the priority, uh, paste in the value, and then type 20 as the priority. 
Now we'll click save. So it says here that it's going to replace some records. And um, so I think what we actually need to do on Google domains is instead of having one record, instead of having two records, so what we need to do on Google domains is instead of having two different MX records, have one MX record and then add more. And here you can have the first one, which is going to be this one. And then you can copy the second one and paste it here. And then we can make the priority at the start and then click save. And this should then be on the same record. Okay, so you can see this is now working. So you've got the one MX record, but it's got two of the different data points. As you can see, we need both of them here. So once you've done that and you've added these two um, records, click next. And now we need to add a following TXT record. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that again. So we already know how to add a TXT record. So go to manage and then you want to create a new record and we're going to add a TXT. Now it might not let me add one new record, so I might have to add it to this current TXT record, but we will try it first. And we're gonna copy this value here and then paste this in, click save. Okay, so it's, it's telling me the same thing. So I'm going to remove this and because we already have a TXT record, you just wanna click add more and then paste in that record. Then click save and it will work perfectly. Okay, so there we go, now we've done that. Now we'll click next. Okay, so now we need to add all three of the following CNAME records to our domain. Okay, so now we'll go back to Google Domains, we'll go manage custom records one more time, create new record, we'll add a CNAME record. Now for the first one, we want to, the host name is protonmail.domain key. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste that into the host name. Okay, so now we've got that copied and pasted. Now we go ahead and copy the value slash data. So click on this button and then paste this in here and then click save. Okay, so now that's done, we've done one. Now we'll go to manage custom records again, create a new record and we're creating a CNAME record again. And now this time where the host name is protonmail domain key so we can paste that in here. Okay, so now we'll copy the second value and it really is just a case of copy and pasting here and just making sure you get everything accurate. So now we'll save this one as well. Okay, manage custom records. We've just got one more to add. Create a new record, CNAME record. This one is protonmail3. So copy this, paste this in here. And then for the value data, we will copy the third one and paste it in here. Then we can click save and there you go. We've done that. Now we can go next again. Now this here is optional. Uh, this is just a basic DMARC record that does nothing except email you report. And it's basically just, it makes it hard for spammers pretending to be you. You can keep that if you want. If not, um, you don't have to, but to add it, you just go and add a text record and then enter in this host name and the data points. I'm gonna skip this for the sake of the tutorial to make it quick, so we'll click next. Okay, so now we can click add address. So here it will take me to my addresses. Now we can go add address, and we can go ahead and add my address here. So you've got at tutorial guide on YouTube, which was my domain. So I'm just gonna say here, type here Bradley at tutorial guide on youtube.com, display name, Bradley knowledge, and save address enter in my password and now we've got our address saved here now if we wanted to go ahead and send an email we will go to new message and you can then choose your domain here so bradley at tutorial guide on youtube.com i could then enter my email and it will come from my domain name so that's how you can connect your custom domain name to protonmail it's a bit complicated but if you follow those steps you will get it done easily thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one.